How's it going guys? I am sorry about this frame. I hate how this looks and last time I posted a video with this in the background I got a message on Instagram about how ugly it is uh, But I personally love it I picked it up from a garbage pile one day and it was probably in a garbage pile for a reason But I like the way it looks in my room, but I digress with that being said um, I am shooting astrophotography today. I wasn't planning on shooting astrophotography with this 15 to 35 uh, for like another month really in March in Florida is when we really start to see the Milky Way here and um, so I was gonna wait but my mom informed me yesterday that there's an asteroid that's getting pretty close to Earth and so I uh, tonight's the night that it's gonna be like closest to Earth so I was like screw it let me go out to the Everglades and shoot it um, we do there are a few issues that I'm gonna run into um, and I'll sort of talk about it later because I'm in a little bit of a rush because it's I have to go pick up my girlfriend Debbie because she's gonna come with me um, and I want to get out there before sunset but I have to go pick up a flashlight as well um, because I don't have like a good flashlight for any light painting. But I'm going to do my best. Uh, hopefully we get at least one good night astrophotography shot where I can see some stars even if it's not super crazy. And I'm also trying to get there before sunset so I can get like one or two sunset shots as well. I just kind of have a good day because the day is also beautiful here. But I do have to go. So enjoy the video. Come along for the ride. And uh, yeah, talk later. I appreciate it. So Deb is filming. I hope the audio is okay. Um, but we're about to enter the national park. We got some food. I ended up buying that flashlight from Harbor Freight. And of course we got our monsters, which Whenever I'm, in, whenever I'm in the Everglades, I have to have caffeine, and usually at night, I always have to have snacks, and I always have to have Monster, which is like a pretty bad habit, but whenever I'm out there, I just get hungry, and I need the energy, and I need the creative juices flowing, and like I mentioned earlier, we are going to run into a couple problems today that I'm hoping aren't a big deal. The first problem is tonight's a full moon. Yesterday was the first full moon of the year. Uh, today is the second day with the full moon of the year, so I'm hoping that uh, we don't have any issues with that because obviously you don't want a full moon in your astrophotography. Not that you don't want it, but it doesn't help, especially when you're trying to, you know, shoot an asteroid with the 15 millimeter lens. It's not going to be ideal, but uh, hopefully uh, where the moon is going to be rising and setting, it's going to be sort of out of the way uh, from where we're trying to uh, shoot. And uh, so we're going to enter the park now. The day is beautiful. As you can see, it is not a cloud in the sky. It's, it's going to hit like low 50s uh, throughout the night, which is going to be awesome, especially in the Everglades. It gets like so much colder than being in the city. Um, and yeah, so we're going to head now to a spot for a sunset, grab a couple of sunset uh, photos. We have like probably 30 minutes until sunset. It's going to be hopefully a good shoot. Like I said earlier, I just want to get one good photo and if I get one good photo at night with some stars, then I'll be happy. So I stopped at the first, this isn't even the location I wanted to shoot, but I kind of just saw it while we were driving and I wanted to stop and get a shot of it. I'm gonna switch lenses to the I'm gonna switch lenses to the 24 to 105 and shoot this little tree that's out there, dead tree. The light looks really, really good right now. Uh, I don't know if you can tell, but I mean, it's just not a cloud in the sky. And so the shadows being cast in on this tree are just really, really nice. So I'm gonna throw ahead, throw the 24 to 105 on the camera and, uh, and hopefully get something here. So it was honestly a super basic shot, but I think that the 70 to 200 would have been even better, but honestly, the light just looks really good right now. So I think sort of the shadows and the highlights on the tree with the contrast in the blue sky and the green and yellow grass, I think overall pretty cool image, nothing crazy, uh, but good start to the day. We're gonna keep going and uh, keep getting to the spot I wanna be at for sunset, which we're cutting in close, so let's go. And just like that, sunset is over. We ended up just pulling up 
uh, on the side of the road uh, in the Everglades. Um, there, we can really find an exact spot we want it to be. But I think I got a couple good shots. I think we got here a little bit, a little bit late, so I kind of rushed to get everything. Um, but I am not too disappointed with the shots I got. Um, by the way, I'm going to be showing the shots at the end of the video because I'm going to edit them and then talk about them. So now it's just the weighty game until uh, until the sun actually goes down and gets totally dark. So then I can shoot this asteroid and get some night photography. So we're going to eat. Uh, we're going to eat some food, chill for a bit and then uh, shoot a little bit later. So we're gonna eat dinner really quick while we still have some light, but I am gonna open my new flashlight that I have not, I don't know, to be confident in this thing or not, but we shall see how it works. There. Let's see how this works. <laughs> this is actually perfect for when I need, and for 40 bucks at Harbor Freight, this is amazing. I'll show you when it's darker. But this is exactly what I needed for some light painting, so. Guys, it's literally going to be so hard for you guys to see this, but there's a super dope moon rising, and I just wanted to shoot it super quick. I got a few photos. Again, you'll see them at the end. But let me just try to show you this on video really quick. I doubt you're going to be able to see it in video because I was doing like 30-second exposures. But you can kind of see the, see the moon right there. Let me bump this ISO as high as possible. And yeah, you see the moon right there. And I was able to get, there's a tree literally right here in the foreground and some stars and not the craziest photo, but it's a good start to our, our night. So we're gonna keep moving forward and hopefully let's see this asteroid. And, uh, and yeah, let's do it. So the good news is we did get some nice photos. And sorry, it's so dark out to touch my phone. Uh, the good news is we did get some good photos. The bad news is I'm an idiot and I realized that like it's going to be impossible for us to shoot this asteroid with the camera. I know more or less the direction it's in. It's literally kind of right behind me, not that you can see anything. Um, but it is so bright and the moon is so bright that I'm literally not able to see like I can see stars, but the camera's picking up way more. This whole video is about getting this asteroid and it's like a fail. However, um, I did get a couple of nice shots. I did a couple, did get a couple of self portraits. I'm going to keep shooting here. Um, uh, maybe go to another spot, but it is a really nice night. So you can't complain. And, uh, I'm sorry that I click baited with this shooting, this asteroid that's super close to earth, but I can't even see it. So, uh, we're going to, we're going to keep moving and keep shooting. I just want to give you guys some reference as to how dark it is, even though there is a full moon, but right now it's pitch black. I'm at 4,000 ISO and boom there it is with the flashlight and it's like that all around and there's the moon and there's Debbie but yeah it is uh even with the full moon it gets so dark out here but this is where we're shooting I am so pissed Deb and I were shooting in one last spot we're gonna shoot one last spot and then go home and out of nowhere, I see, we're in the spot and it's like an open field. You'll see like some of the photos, but like we're, it's like a, it's all open in front of us. And on the horizon, we see this like super orange, like super warm light. And we're like, I made a comment about it. I was like, oh, look how crazy that looks, whatever. Didn't think anything about it. And then I was taking exposure, an exposure looking, a 30 second exposure looking the other way. And then I think, Deb, you were like, like, what is that? I turn around and there's this crazy looking like, you know light in the sky traveling with this like huge tail behind it and i was like my first guess was that it was a rocket and i don't know why i decided not to turn the camera around and shoot it right away because then it just ended up dimming away i waited for the other exposure to be done and then i went to go shoot it and it was too late i was able to get a couple photos and i'll show you but it looked for like 30 seconds like from when it was in like the horizon and then deb mentioned it there was like 30 seconds that it looked so so cool the one of the coolest things i've ever seen and i didn't even shoot it and i was like what the hell is that and i ended up looking it up and it was a spacex rocket launch i think it was the falcon heavy with the starlink satellites and i had no idea there was a launch tonight and i had no idea i could see it over here in the everglades super you know pretty far from cape canaveral but it was one of the coolest looking looking things and i have major regret not turning the camera around and shooting it 
and I'm pretty disappointed. We got some decent shots tonight. I didn't see the asteroid. I didn't shoot, shoot the rocket, but at least we got a couple okay shots. We're gonna conclude the night here. I'm gonna head back to the house, back to the studio. Uh, I'm gonna edit these photos and whether I think I may edit them tonight a little bit, uh, but definitely over the next few days, I'm gonna edit them and I'm gonna walk you guys through the photos uh, in, the next, in the next set of this video, in the next uh, section of this video. But overall, it was, a, it was a good night. Not exactly what I what I expected. Not exactly what Deb expected. But uh, it was definitely a good night. So I will see you guys in the next part of the video. So whenever I do a video like that, uh, or a video where I vlog, I realize how difficult not only the art of vlogging is, but I also realize how difficult it is to do it while you're trying to take photos. Especially when my, my primary focus is taking photos and I only have one camera. Um, and even though Debbie is there to kind of hold the camera for me every once in a while, it is super difficult to kind of make a good vlog and take good photos, especially when you're not experienced with it. But I do hope that it was cohesive enough and I hope you got something out of it. I hope you learned something or uh, at least just enjoyed watching me shoot in the Everglades. And regardless, I have the I have Lightroom open right behind me um and this is like a week later and so i'm gonna i've edited all of the photos pretty much they're not in their final form yet before i put them onto instagram on my website and everything i'm um, definitely gonna finalize them a little bit more put them through photoshop and all of that so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna walk through sort of the edits that i have talk a little about a little bit about some of the photos what i learned what i could have done better and uh, i hope you find this beneficial um i do enjoy this style of content so i'm trying to find my, my way of of creating content and putting youtube videos out like this um i think i definitely prefer a little bit more of the pov style um at the moment just because i don't have to worry about having another camera to film me while, while i take photos and all of that a little bit easier to do a little bit more engaging but regardless um let's just jump into the light lightroom and talk a little bit about the photos that i shot this is the uh, first photo that i took on the day when i got there um, super simple. I put on the 24 to 105. So this is the first photo. This is the after. Well, I'll show you the final version. I did put this one through Photoshop. Um, but here before Photoshop, this is what it looked like. And this is the before. The settings are on the top right. So I shot this at 74 millimeters at f4 and uh, 400th of a second ISO 100. And the reason I shot this at F4 instead of going for like F8, F12, something like that, is I do kind of enjoy getting shots, um, especially when I'm kind of focusing on a subject like this. I do enjoy getting a lot of this like out of focus grass. Maybe not the best look. Um, I definitely think if this was like a photo I was like thinking about printing or something like that, I definitely wouldn't necessarily like all of this. Uh, but I think for Instagram, I enjoy when there's just a little bit of depth of field um, and things are out of focus and at the end of the day this is just all grass so i don't think it necessarily has to be in focus photo after that i don't think i show this in, a, in the vlog but we did take a quick i stop here every single time i go to the everglades um and took a quick photo and this is wide at 15 millim yeah 15 millimeters 5.6 125th of a second um, and pretty soon, I think my next, vi next video next week, I'm going to be talking about the 15 to 35, giving sort of like a review on it. And so definitely look out for that. But I really like this photo a lot, actually. Um, and this is another one I took into Photoshop. Did some basic hue, saturation, curve stuff. I ended up doing a color shift in Photoshop. So this is the Lightroom version. And then this is the after Photoshop version. Kind of brought out a little bit more of the blue shadows, uh, blue in the sky. And then also brought out some of these highlights in the... Uh, on the boardwalk here so i'll do a before and after again really happy with this photo super basic photo i take pretty often but um with the blue sky i thought it was it was super nice did a landscape version as well this one's also at 15 millimeters but this one i'm going to work on a little bit more in photoshop and then this was at sunset uh these are photos i haven't really finalized any of these photos but i'm just going to skim through them this is me shooting directly into the sun kind of testing out the 15 to 35 and i think i handled it pretty well i didn't have an nd filter on uh, but for the most part there isn't really too much of this like the sun rays like killing the photo or killing the lens or washing it out too much there's just a little bit again i'm shooting directly into the sun here but this is the hdr so you kind of do get these sun flares i think i'm at f9 so of course i'm gonna get these you know sort of sun flares here but i think overall this is a pretty pretty decent image i'm gonna do more to this i'm gonna add more color into the sky and dodge and burn some of the landscape i do like this photo a lot sunset is past the horizon here i'm gonna again add more a little bit more color into the sky probably brighten this up a little bit and then i took a few more photos that are all kind of the same 
Um, I do like that photo a lot as well. I did take this photo, of, which I've always wanted to take. Super basic national park photo, uh, like sitting on the road of a national park and you have like a sunset and all that. But I'm going to take this photo again because I was kind of pissed off that I was wearing these shoes. Um, I mean, nothing wrong with them, but I want to make the photo a little bit cooler than my old uh, Nike running shoes. Then this is definitely one of my favorite photos. I took this of Deb in the middle of the road. Um, I did three different edits for this. She liked this one the best. Um... But then I did one that was a little bit more uh, style, a little more stylistic and more cinematic. And then I did one that was more of a film look with a lot of film grain and everything. So pretty cool. She definitely liked the first one the best, but this is my favorite. Skip through ahead. This is the shot, the first shot I did of the moon for the day. Um, and I really do like this photo. I'm going to work on it a little bit more, uh, take it into Photoshop and do a little bit of color shifts because right now I think it looks a little bit too blue. Uh, so when your weird magentas here in the tree as well, but I do like this shot. Uh, I shot this at 2.8 20 second exposure. Um, so the stars do look pretty good. And again, even though it was a full moon, I was still able to get a lot in the center of the stars. No Milky Way, but still looks really good. Uh, I just like when the sun rises like this. And then just some photos I did of the sky. Uh, you can see how many stars. It's crazy. Like I couldn't see this many stars when uh when when I was there, but the camera just picks up so many. Like kind of look at this cluster here. Like it's just so crazy doing astrophotography. If you haven't done astrophotography, I really do recommend you go and try it out. It is really fun. Little uh self portrait that I did. Me standing here, I'm a little blurry, but pretty cool. Got this little streak in the sky. Nothing too crazy. I did one with Debbie as well because she wanted to do one. We came out a little little blurry, but I sort of like it. And again, I'm going to work on this photo a little bit more probably. I'm going to show you a couple more photos. Here is another one uh, facing the other, other direction of the last photo. And this one I'm actually really, really happy with. Uh, this one's definitely going to go on Instagram. I'm still going to work on it a little bit more, but overall really happy with it. But also happy with this photo. Um, kind of cool leading lines. I should have maybe had Debbie stand here looking up. I think it would have been a pretty cool subject shot. Another cool shot would be having somebody over here uh, with the flashlight sort of flashing into the sky. So I kind of get a light beam in the shot. That would have been cool as well, but definitely something to keep in mind for next time. And uh, let me go ahead and show you the SpaceX rocket. <laughs> this is like literally right after it was like super intense. This right here is like the tail of the SpaceX rocket. And I know it looks like nothing right now, but I promise you in person, it looked insane. And just a fun little tree when we were leaving, Debbie spotted an owl right by our car. So I ended up, this was, I had the 15 to 35 on and I couldn't get that close. So this is at 35 millimeters. And I think I cropped in a ton as you can see, but still able to get a photo of an owl, which if you didn't know, owls are one of my favorite animals. And that is it uh, for the, uh, for this little commentary of photos. I do hope you enjoyed. Uh, I hope this video wasn't too long, but I'm definitely gonna do more of these, just kind of figure out a better way to do them um, as I get more practice and everything. But that's gonna conclude the video. Next week, I am hoping to do a 15 to 35 millimeter review. So keep an eye out on that. If you're not following me on Instagram, please do so. I'll put it on the screen right now. And I will see you guys in the next one. Hope you enjoyed. Let me know down in the comments, what was your favorite photo or what was your favorite part of the vlog? Thanks so much, guys. See you later. Peace out.